Look at the following picture. So we have two points in space A and B and we form uh, vectors A and B. A points for, is a vector in standard position pointing at A and B is pointing, the vector B is pointing at B. So we have a difference vector here, uh, B minus A in yellow, over here. And uh, we may look at the distance between the points A, B. The distance from A to B is no more than a length of the vector B minus A. That's the length of the difference vector. Now let us apply the cosinus rule to this triangle we have here, so the origin AB. Then, yeah, so we, uh, we apply it to vectors. So what we obtain is the, if we write the angle phi is the angle between the vectors A and B, then we get that b minus a, the length of b minus a squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2 the length of a to the length of b cosinus phi. This is just what the cosinus rule says for this picture. So we have a generalization of uh, Pythagoras here. So if we have perpendicular vectors, then this second term here cancels out. Also we have that um, the length of b minus a squared is no more than the inner product of b minus a with itself. So this equals length of b, so this is b squared. Yeah, this is the inner product of B with B, minus 2 times A inner product A with B, and plus A, the length of A squared. So now we plug in this relation over there in 1. Yeah, so combine these two equalities that we have here. we may deduce the following. We have two expressions for the length of the vector b minus a. So we get as a corollary to the cosinus rule basically apply to vectors the following. Let phi be the angle between vectors a and b. And we assume that phi is in between 0 and pi. Then, yeah, so for phi between 0 and pi, then we assume that a and b are non-zero, which means that they have positive length then we obtain the following relation, then the inner product of a and b equals the length of a times the length of b times the cosinus of phi. Yeah, if we combine this expression here with this expression, then it's just the length of a squared and length of b squared to cancel out. But we can say more. So we have a, an angle, the cosinus of phi is no more than the inner product of the vectors forming this angle divided by the respective lengths of these vectors. 